Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very exciting and powerful video of algebraic challenging equations, in this video we are going to take up one very interesting rational equation today. x plus 5 whole power 5 plus x plus 1 whole power 5 over x plus 4 whole power 5 plus x plus 2 whole power 5 equal to 9. We have to find out real values of x. So let's consider our numerator. See x plus 5 I can see as x plus 3 plus 2 whole power 5. Then second term x plus 1 I can think it would be x plus 3 minus 2 whole power 5. In denominator it is x plus 3 plus 1 whole power 5. And then with minus sign we will write that would be x plus 3 minus 1 whole power 5 equal to 9. Now you can see x plus 3, x plus 3, x plus 3 and x plus 3. So our substitution will become x plus 3 equal to t. So equation it will be transformed into t plus 2 whole power 5 plus t minus 2 whole power 5 over t plus 1 whole power 5 plus t minus 1 whole power 5 equal to 9. Now I will use Pascal triangle because we have to find out numerator this summation here and this summation in the denominator. So to target that part I will use the Pascal triangle first to find out the coefficients. So if I will quickly write, then I will write 1 to 1, 1 3 3 1, 1 4 6 4 1 and 1 5 10 10 5 1. So here we are having our coefficients of power 5 expansion. So let me write one term first, t plus 2 whole power 5. It would be, see coefficients are here. So first power will decrease and second power will increase. This power will decrease and this power will increase. Let me write here. So I will write t power 5 plus coefficient is 5. So 5 t power 4 and then 2 will come. Then third term is 10. So 10 t cube. First power is decreasing and second power is increasing. Fourth term would be 10 t square 2 cube and then I will write 5 t 2 power 4 and last term would be what I will write 1 2 power 5. Okay. Now see if I will write for the second term t minus 2 this minus. So it is going to affect only those terms where 2 is having power odd. So here I will put minus, then here I will put minus and then last term I will put minus. So once I will add both, so only even two powers term will be left. So this term will be left, this would be left and this term would be left. So which term will cancel? These one will cancel out. See, so what I am going to write here, the numerator, the complete numerator, it would be t minus 2 whole power 5 and if I will write directly then I can write 2 and that's all terms t power 5 then 2 square is 4 times 10 40 t cube then what is left 2 power 4 is 16 times 5 80 80 t or if I will take t common from inside I will write 2t outside. Inside we will write t power 4 plus 40t square plus 8t. In the similar way we will find out our denominator. So let's find out our denominator. So I will write t plus 1 whole power 5. Then I will put minus sign after that. So expansion coefficients are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So let us start. I will write 5, 1, so t power 5. Then I will write 5, 
T4 and then I will write 1, so no effect at all. Then I will write plus 10 T cube. Then I will write again 10 T square. Then I will write 5 T. Then I will write plus 1. Okay. Plus 1. Now if you will put minus sign in between, then what will happen? See, it is going to affect here where the power of 1 is odd. So second term, fourth term and last term, you will get minus sign. So let me write in the similar way as we did in the last one. So I will write t minus 1 whole power 5. It would come out. This term will be over. So what would be left? With twice I will write t power 5 plus 10 t cube plus 5 t. Now I will do the same thing. I will take t outside. So 2 t in bracket t power 4 plus I will write 10 t square plus 5. Now we have to divide. Let me write. After putting the values, see this will happen. See only I have written the calculated equation. So now you can cancel these two terms. Now cross multiply. So I will write t power 4 plus 40 t square plus 80 equal to 9 t power 4 plus 10 90 t square 10 times 9 is 90 plus 45. Now I have to give substitution because it is looking in means it is quartic equation. So if I will write t square is equal to something then it would be converted into quadratic. So what we can do right now let, let me simplify first t power 4 to the right then it would become 8 t power 4. Then I will write 90 minus 40, then I will write 50 t square. 45 minus 80, I will write negative 35 equal to 0. So this is quadratic in t square. Okay. So let's solve this quartic or quadratic in t square equation. So I will write t square is equal to minus b. So b, b was 50, so I will write minus 50 plus minus square root b square 50 square so i will write 2500 minus 4 ac a a was 8 and c is minus 35 so if you will take the product it will come 14 times 8 1 1 2 0 divided by 2 a a was 8 so 2 times 8 is 16 if i will simplify this value minus 50 plus minus square root 2500 0, 0, if you will add it will come out 3620 divided by 16. Now 3620 if you will take a square root of that it will come out minus 50 plus minus I will write 60.17 because 3600 a square root of 3600 is 60 so slightly more than that. Now see t square cannot be negative for real valued. So what I will do, I will reject this minus sign. This minus sign will be rejected. Once you will consider this minus, this will be negative and t square cannot be negative for real valued solution. So I will consider only t square is equal to negative 50 plus 60.17 over 16. Okay, so this difference would be 10.17 over 16. This is our t square value. So t will come out, take a square root both sides. So t will be plus minus a square root 10.17 over 4. Now what was t? t was our substitution. It was x plus 3 equal to t. So we will put back this value. So let me write a square root 10.17. That value if you will calculate, it will come out 3.19. So if I will write itself uh, 3.19 over 4. So let me write here x plus 3 is equal to plus minus 
3.19 over 4. Take away 3 from both sides. So I will write x is equal to minus 3 plus minus 3.19 over 4. Now if you will evaluate this value then this value with minus sign. Let me write both 3.19 over 4 and then I will write minus 3 minus 3.19 over 4. So first value is coming out with plus sign that is minus 2.20 and second value if you will check it is coming out minus 3.7972 okay now one more thing that was after substitution our equation in t if you check this equation it was t power 4 plus 40 t square plus 80 over t power 4 plus 10 t square plus 5 equal to 9. Here we have to check this denominator cannot be 0. Okay. So once you will check this denominator cannot be 0, both roots, let me write here, 5 equal to 0. It should not be 0 for real value. So I will find out the value of t square first. So minus b minus 10 plus minus square root b square minus 4ac so so i will write 20 divided by 2 so it will give us minus 10 plus minus root 80 root 80 means 16 times 5 so i will write 4 root 5 over 2 if you will check this value or first let me divide minus 5 plus minus 2 root 5 2 root 5 root 5 is 2.23 times 2 4.46 so once you will add minus 5 or subtract minus 5 with its negative value both values will be negative so no need to check the square is negative so complex solutions so ultimate answer is x is equal to minus 2.20 and minus 3.7972 i hope this video is meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye for now we will meet in the next video. Take care.